What's up, Yugi Tubes? Penguar321 here with Mr. Hunter Collins, Mr. Invite himself. 13th place, Omaha Regional, 114 or 140 people. Uh, what deck are we playing, dude? Uh, I was playing Cosmos. Um, I don't know, I felt like it's just the deck picked up to get ready for the upcoming format, so that's what I got. Uh, I finished X2. My losses were to Klee first round and then uh, BA round four. Round four and three. Um, but yeah, so I played the three Farm Girl, uh, the three Good Witch, uh, the three Slip Rider, and uh, three Forerunner. And I only I played two Maxi, two Honest. I know a lot of people are cutting Honest for like Ghost Ogre and that stuff. Um, I think Honest, Honest just helps you in the matches like with Infernoids and stuff. Like when they summon a Tondal and just can crash, like yeah, you get the special summon, but. Like they just they beat your board presence, so this really helps you keep your board presence. And like the key is to get farm girl to do damage and to light. So I feel like it goes perfect. No Jern Dagos, uh, and then no Ghost Ogre. So I just didn't, I just didn't feel like it was necessary. Um, I just wanted uh, Cosmos, and I just wanted to play beat down and control. And I felt like without Ghost Ogres, I could play more trap cards. Uh, one Red Gecky, two Dark Hole. Three Cosmo Town, uh, three MST, and then three Etel. It's pretty the most standard uh, spell lineup that I've seen online. Uh, Trenchal, Vanny's Emptiness, two Void, uh, two Nightmare, uh, two Mirror Force, Deep Prisons, and Phoenix Chains. Um, Forty cards main board. Uh, main board played really smooth. Um, you didn't get those hands where you have to work out of, but Besides that, it was smooth. Uh, three Cyber Dragon for the sideboard. Uh, you would side these in for matchups that sided like Iron Wall. Because if you drew, like, you'd have a chance to, like, special this and, like, have a Slip Rider in hand. So you could tribute this to summon Slip Rider, blow up the Iron Wall. To kind of, like, get yourself back into the game. It kind of gave you that extra normal summon to tribute. Um, real like, realistically, it replaced, like, Stormforth because I don't want to just play Stormforth. Uh, uh -huh. Three Lancia, three Tality and C, three Flying C, and then three Decree. Uh, I loved my sideboard. Uh, everything was relevant. Uh, I didn't play against any Shadals or Necros. <clears throat> I mean, I, I have a good matchup against Necros, so I wasn't worried about that. Um, two Khmer Tech, Gaia Charger, Walker Source. I never went into any of this besides uh, the Khmer Tech. So, really just a lot of the standard, standard extra stuff that you could go into. So. And then anything, how, any changes you'd make to the deck or anything after playing in the tournament? Um, not really. Uh, maybe, maybe try to find room for a bottomless in the main board. But besides that, it just ran really smooth. So. Right. Decent stuff. Uh, well, thanks for the deck list, man. Um, you will be at the Maplewood Regional too, right? Yeah, uh, full Team Llama will be there. So shout out to Team Llama. Uh, decent stuff. Three weeks from then. See you guys then, man.